Hi, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot.com, and today I'm going to show you a really simple card. All we need is our card base. This is luxury paper from Die Cuts with a View. It has kind of a pearl finish on it. And I also need some ribbon. You'll see I have a pretty decent length here. Probably 12 to 15 inches of ribbon here. And I'm going to need some extra to make a bow. Besides that, I have two corsage pins. And you can get these. I have a pack I got 144 in a box for about 5 bucks. So you can make a ton of cards using corsage pins instead of the fancy ones. And to make them extra fancy, I am going to glue some beads on. You'll see I have a selection of tiny beads. Some little bugle type beads and then just little round pearl beads. So I'll need glue to attach those. And I think that's about all we need for this card. It's really simple and elegant. And let's get started. Okay, the trickiest part of this card is the ribbon for the front. It's going to be folded, and this is really slick ribbon, so it's kind of hard to keep, um, keep it where you want it. And it's probably best to glue it as you go. I make one fold here. And now I'm just going to fold part of the ribbon up. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other side. Make a fold. And make another fold. And you're going to want to probably glue this as you go, like I said, because this ribbon's so slick it just keeps moving. But you're going to have a pretty folded ribbon on the front of your card, just like this. Fold here, fold here and a fold here and a fold here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that glued down. Use a ribbon glue or some kind of tacky glue that won't seep right through your ribbon because that looks really terrible. So let's go ahead and get that glued and I will be right back. Okay, I have my, my ribbon glued on the front of my card and I also put a dot in the center here to hold down the middle because otherwise that would just be a loop sticking up. So now, I'm going to grab some extra ribbon that I have. It's right here on the roll. And I'm just going to tie my bow right on the roll so I can make sure I have enough. I make two loops. And then tie them around each other. Okay. Let's see how our bow is. You can just kind of play around with it to get it the way you want it to look. Okay, and we can have a, a fairly decent sized bow, like that. I'll just cut that off. See how it looks on my card. So this is a pretty fancy card. If you want to leave the tails hanging down, you can. If not, after you attach your bow, just give them a clip. I'm going to use a Zot instead of glue to put my bow on just for the quickness of it. So I'll just grab a zot here, put it on the back, stick my bow right in the middle of my other folded ribbon. Okay, and then I'm going to leave it fairly long, but just give this one a little clip here. There we go. Freshen it up a little. And now, for the pins, I'm going to put beads on them just to make them a little fancier. So what you do is just get to some glue that is really sturdy. I know there's some kind of runny clear glues that you can use that probably work pretty well. I'm just going to dot some around here. You can always wipe it off if there's too much. And for this one, I'm going to take a little silver bead and just thread it up through there and just keep adding glue and beads for however many you want on there I'm going to put this little kind of bugle shaped bead next and then on the bottom I'm going to put a pearl bead and I'm going to do the same thing with my other pin. And if you look at these, 
it's pretty fancy looking just like the ones that you buy in the store that cost a lot you could use crystal beads if you want to make them even fancier so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my other pin and I'll be right back okay I have my two pins all finished with my beading and all I'm going to do to finish off this card is just take a pin and push it better lay my card down first push it through the bow maybe we'll put it out through the bottom we don't want anybody getting stuck on them and then I'll just turn this one the other way get it through there maybe pull it up a little and there we go that's our fancy ribbon card and this is just beautiful for an engagement or a wedding card I hope you give it a try. Thanks so much for watching.